Greetings to all my watch enthusiast friends out there on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. It's Celine Driver coming to you once again with another unboxing and review of a watch or a series of watches that are not mine. Uh, I was loaned in these watches by uh, Ernst Benz um, with the help of uh, several of my other watch um, YouTube um, compatriots, such as uh, Chris over at Watch Lounge, Bobby Legs, um, and uh, Kevin over at Wrong Time Watch. Uh, I was put in contact with Ernst Benz, given the opportunity to uh, review these three watches from their Chrono Lunar series. And we're on video number two. Um, I've already reviewed the 40 millimeter watch here in a previous video. Hopefully you will go back and find that video and watch it if you haven't already. But today we are going to look at watch number two, if I can get out of the box. And watch number two is a bit bigger watch than watch number one. Push this back a little bit. There we go. Watch number two is uh, the medium-sized Chrono Lunar uh, series watch. This is uh, the Officer GC40384. And, of course, I will leave a link to uh, Ernst Benz's um, website uh, in the comment section, as I did in the uh, first video over here. Uh, so that you can take a look at their entire collection, if you so desire. Uh, the Carl Lunar series appears to be a uh, luxury sports watch. Uh, it certainly ticks all the box to be a sports watch, um, while also being a watch that you could wear in a dressier or business uh, function as well. It's certainly not a dress watch, certainly not a formal uh, watch at all, but it is a dressier watch, uh, much like, uh, say, a Rolex Daytona is um, a sports watch, sports chronograph, but with enough cachet and panache and styling to pull off being in a, a more formal or a business uh, setting as well. Uh, this watch is a chronograph. Uh, I'm going to fire up the chronograph so you can take a look at its function. Chronograph second hand is this gold second hand running right now. Um, this watch has many, many different complications. It has a date function uh, right there. Uh, the outer track is a date function. Uh, when the, um, uh, you can see the uh, little arm right there culminating in this half moon uh, around the current date. It does have a day and month function. It has 24 hour indicator. It has a moon phase. It has chronograph minutes, chronograph hours. Uh, so it's a very, very complete uh, watch with respect to complications. Um, you have exhibition case back, uh, uh, exhibition screw down case back um, with a nice decorated uh, Swiss value movement. We'll get to that in a moment. And it is presented in a, a very nice uh, package. You have a, a pusher here on the outside. I, I believe the pusher operates the either the date or the month uh, change. I'm pretty sure it's the month change, although I didn't play with it. Um, Beautifully polished case, uh, very long on the tip to tip. We'll get to the exact measurements in a little bit. This watch does wear very broad across the wrist. Um, signed, um, signed crown, piston style uh, pushers. Beautifully done. I'm going to give you a wrist shot right now. Let me just put this on there we, oops 
both keepers. Thank you very much. There we go. And there is um, the watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You can see um, it's not it's not as broad a uh, watch as you would think, although it's certainly a pretty good size on the tip to tip. Uh, but it does fit on my seven and a quarter inch wrist very nicely. I would say because of the tip to tip measurement, which is pretty big, um, this watch really isn't going to look right on anything under a seven uh, on a seven inch wrist. It'll still look okay, but anything under that, it might begin to look a little strange. But that's why you have the forty millimeter watch with the um, smaller tip to tip by about three millimeters really but on my wrist it fits very nicely now one thing I want to get out of the way real quick is the strap uh, the strap is not the strap that this watch comes with this strap is a collareb strap this watch is mine it's personally my strap the reason I did that was because the strap this watch came with, which was this very, very nice brown alligator strap, and you can see it is genuine alligator, Louisiana alligator, just like on this watch in the other video, the strap was just too small. You can see it's a little smaller, not by much on this side, but on the buckle side, pretty significantly smaller. You know, a few millimeters to be sure, but not much, but it made all the difference. I mean, on this strap, I could not get my, I could not get it to plug into this hole second from, from the tip. Uh, whereas this one, I, I have, I, I buckle in here. Again, it doesn't sound like much, but it does make a difference in terms of wearability. But it is a beautifully made um, alligator strap. It is an upgrade strap over the standard on this watch, which is leather. Um, get to that in a minute as well. But uh, when I return these watches, of course, I'll take these straps off of this watch and this one and put my and put the original ones back on. Um, but uh, I, I, if you are going to buy one of these watches, I would definitely recommend um, checking with the website or with uh, one of their reps about, you know, the measurements of these watch straps and plan accordingly. Um, as you can see on the, um, on the chronograph, the upper button starts and stops. Uh, you have chronograph minutes up here and hours down here. You also have day of the week and month on the, on the 12 o'clock subdial. You have a moon phase on the 6 o'clock subdial. On the 9 o'clock subdial, you have a 24-hour indicator. And as you can see, you have running seconds. And because this watch is hackable, the movement is hackable, you can see that the running second hand stops when you pull the crown out. Non-screw down crown, just like on that watch. Um, when you wanna reset the chronograph, just push the bottom button, it flies back to reset position. Beautifully, beautifully made watch. Beautiful polish on, on the entire case. It's just wonderfully done piece. And uh, certainly worth the, uh, the money that they're asking for. I do have my sheet of facts here so we can go over the statistics of the watch. You can learn a little more about it. As I said, this is the Ernst Benz Chrono Lunar. They call this one the Officer. GC40384 is the uh, part number or model number. Uh, it is a bigger watch than the first one over there. This is a 44 millimeter watch versus 40. 
uh, 22 millimeter lug, 51.8 on the tip to tip, so almost 52 millimeters across. This is not a this is not a a a, a shrinking violet watch. You're going to have this on your wrist. People are going to see it. 16.1 millimeters thick. You have 50 meter water resistance on the watch. So again, a swimmable watch, maybe, probably not. You could get it wet, you know, rain shower, washing your hands, et cetera, et cetera. I personally wouldn't swim with it. it that, that wouldn't be something that I would do. But uh, hey, it's your money, it's your watch. Sapphire crystals front and rear on the exhibition case back and of course on the front. Alligator strap, as we saw earlier, that is a $400 option, um, bringing the price of this watch to $6,625 US. Now that price is a snapshot in time. Being uh, mid-June 2021, prices will can and will change. Um, you know how it is. Case is 316L stainless steel. The movement inside here is a Valju 7751. It is a Swiss movement. Uh, and of course, all those complications are powered by this, uh, this uh, movement. I have had great experience with this movement's uh, younger brother or br uh, older brother, I'm not sure which, the 7750. I've never had a watch with a Valju movement on it go bad on me. And that includes uh, two prototype watches that I own that have this, uh, they, I have a Valju movement in it. They have never gone wrong on me. So I have great confidence recommending this watch uh, from, a, from a quality and durability standpoint. Uh, I love the gold cathedral uh, hand. Uh, I love it. all the gold tones and gold accents uh, on the watch just make it work for me beautifully. Uh, the moon phase is very easy to see against the uh, against that dial. Um, I don't think the moon phase is correct. I did not set the moon phase. Um, just a beautifully made watch, beautifully made Swiss watch. And uh, I, th I think if you decide to invest this kind of money into, the, into this watch, I think you will be very, very happy. Um, just, uh, just make sure that when you order it, you order it with the right size strap is the only caveat to everything that I've said about this watch. And I mean, I was lucky. I was fortunate. I had... Um, plenty of straps to uh, put on this watch and make sure it was wearable. But I got to tell you, if I was uh, buying this watch and uh, I paid $400 extra for a alligator strap and it didn't fit me, uh, there was going to be a phone call or two uh, to somebody about something. <laughs> but I would have asked those questions well before I, I plunked down my money. I mean, I didn't plunk down any money for this. These are loaners. So... You takes what you gets. And with that, I'm going to wrap the video up because I am just very happy to uh, wrap the video up and uh, start wearing one of these watches again. They, they wear very, very well, very comfortable and uh, great to look at. But I hope you found this video to be very useful, entertaining, educational, useful. If you did, Please click that thumbs up button for me. That does help with the YouTube search algorithms and will also help to bring more people to the channel. And that's always a good thing. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to troll in my comment section, I'm just going to delete the comment and I'm going to block the commenter. If you're new to the channel, of course, uh, I welcome you as I welcome back all my original uh, and current subscribers. I welcome my new viewers as well. You uh, have hundreds of videos to look at on my channel covering different subjects, and I hope you will find those to be entertaining, useful, and uh, 
maybe even educational. All I ask in return, and I ask for so little, but I do ask that you click the subscribe button before you're done for the day or evening. And when you do, click the bell icon so that when I upload new content, you will be alerted to this fact. Or when I do live streams, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, or when time and opportunity avail themselves to me at other times during the week. Uh, otherwise, uh, remember it is a crazy old world out there still, and it doesn't look like that's ever going to change. So be careful, be safe, be well. I'll see you soon.